But we've got to follow them. There's no time to waste. Oh, shit. All right. Follow me. Oh, no. You should wait here, dude. You're gonna die. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, on the bright side, he won't be dead for long, right? <laughs> this is a bunch of necromancers in here. Jeez, dude, you're really going fast. Jeez! Oh, no! Oh, and it's going in slow! Oh! No! It went so slow, too, at the end! <laughs> oh, that was agonizing. All right. I'll need to continue on my own into the ruins to find Musianus. Holy fuck, it's still going! Ooh, God! Is it just stuck up there now? Oh, gosh. Something to do with the physics. Oh, man. Gang, what's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. We're hanging out here in the Arcane University on a beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful star-filled night. Oh my goodness, look at all of them up there. Holy crap. Do they actually twinkle at night? I think they do. I don't know if you can make it out on YouTube, but I think they actually do twinkle. Or maybe I'm just tripping major balls, I don't know. Maybe that's a skybox moving. You can definitely see a... Uh, Macer there. Macer or Masser moving? Well, I suppose these larger ones aren't twinkling so much. If they are, I, I, I can't tell. I really cannot tell. But uh, one thing I can tell is the fire and stuff around has kind of messed up ever since I updated my graphics drivers just recently. Uh, particle effects have been a little weird in some places. Like, you'll notice there, look, it's fixed. But if I come over... Yeah, look at that. Isn't that weird as hell? Isn't that also really scary? It makes you worry about the stability of the game. <laughs> it does for me! <laughs> anyway, let's head on up in here and talk to old Raminus Polis. Get the next uh, quest here. Greetings. What's up, dude? You continue to do the guild proud. As such, a new task awaits you. Man, the shadows this have time, also really however, kicked in. This time, comes huh? from Archmage Traven himself. You should go see him. Oh, alright. Hey, I, I just saw him not too long ago, I think, right? Here, tell me a rumor first. Half of the Council of Mages resigned when Draven took over the position of Archmage. Wow. Holy shit. That's all you're going to say? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Goodbye. Yeah, uh, every time I have a graphics card uh, driver update, you know, I always say, hey, it resets the uh, graphics and stuff. Uh, I never remember Hello. what my old settings yeah. were, so they change ever slightly every time uh, I update them, which is usually every Tuesday, Personally. every other Tuesday. You know how it is. Anyway, where is this dude? Oh, well, he must be sleeping. We can't... Yeah, we're not allowed to go up there yet. Let's just wait for a bit here. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect chance for us to just steal this. Let's see. No one in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Replicas. All replicas, huh? Nothing else around here, right? Because last time we were poking around in here looking for love in all the wrong places, uh, there are a bunch of folks up in here. Including, uh, Traven himself, huh? Let's see, calipers and tongs, I'll take them. Alright, let's see, let's wait, uh, 12 hours just to be safe, right? Just to be safe. Who knows how long he spends up inside of his own personal quarters. Good God. You know, actually, today has been... Kind of a fucking bad day for me. You, maybe you can't tell, but it's been kind of a fucking bad... Oh my god. Oh, well, had some car trouble and got stranded in a parking lot for a bit. Which, uh... Whew, holy crap. Man, look at that. Oh, god, look at that. The particle effects. Yeah, something to do with the particle effects. Ain't going well. Good god. But, uh, nonetheless, we're here in Oblivion Lane having a good time. Alright. What's up, Hannibal Traven? Greetings. It is high time that we met face to face, don't you think? Raminus has told me good things about you. You have advanced quickly and show great promise. I now intend to put your talents to a more direct test. I have a difficult task that you can perhaps assist with. Okay, sure. Uh, tell me a rumor first. Andel Indaris may or may not have killed his wife, and it may or may not have been an accident. Oh my god. And I doubt we'll ever know for sure. Huh. All right. Jesus Christ. All right, well, here. How about a task? Are you prepared to begin? I I think so, yeah. Very good. Let me explain what is at stake. 
The Council of Mages has been aware of the increased necromancer activity in Cyrodiil for some time. I'd hoped so. It had been our position to sit back and watch what unfolded, but that time has clearly passed. We cannot tolerate these attacks on the Guild. <laughs> Most of our information on the necromancers has come from an informant inside the cult itself. Oh. A Guild member who offered to infiltrate their ranks. Who? I like how their, their first strategy was... Well, we know all these necromancers. They're they're probably up to no good. They seem a little pissed off ever since we outlawed necromancy. They seem a little violent. They seem a little volatile. Let's just kind of sit and see what they're going to do. <laughs> and they they didn't just do that once, but they just kept doing it until there's gigantic, like, caves full of necromancers everywhere. Jesus Christ. All right. Hey, uh, you have someone on the inside? Who is the informant? Uh, yeah, who is it? Luciana Salias. He is not a council member, but has long served the guild here at the Arcane University. Aware of the growing interest in the guild after the ban on necromancy was put into place, he offered to help the council track the cult's actions. With my oh. blessing, he infiltrated the group and has fed us information for quite some time until recently. I have not heard from him, and I fear for his safety. Huh. He had a specific interest in the guild once the uh, once necromancy got banned. Huh, I wonder if he was like some kind of necromancer hunter or whatever. All right, go on. The lack of reports from Mucianus has disturbed the council, and they are now concerned about the legitimacy of his information. Oh. A group of battle mages were dispatched to Mucianus's last known location with the intent of bringing him in for questioning. I argued against it, but eventually agreed to maintain order in the council. I regret that decision, and that is why I wish to send you there. Oh, don't worry about it, Traven. I'm sure Musilanus Elias, I'm sure he's a perfectly fine guy and not up to anything weird and suspicious. All right. Hey, where do I need to go? Musilanus last reported being sent to the ruins of Nenyon Twill, south of the Imperial City. That is where the battle mages went. South right. of the White Rose River, nearly halfway to the border of elsewhere. Oh, really? I'm afraid I know nothing more about the location or what you may expect to find once you arrive. Hmm. When they outlawed necromancy, that wasn't just in Cyrodiil, right? That was in all of the Empire, huh? I mean, even if it were in all of the Empire, you'd think it'd be easier to get away with in different provinces, right? Like, if you were a super necromancer, you might travel out of Cyrodiil. I, can't, I mean, there's so many places to choose from, because Cyrodiil is kind of like in the middle. But uh, why not travel to, like, elsewhere, or, like Morrowind or something like that, and practice necromancy there, where, although it may be illegal because of uh, stuff going on in Cyrodiil, it, eh, less likely, li likely that you'll get caught, right? All right, what am I supposed to do? I fear the battle mages may mistreat Musianus if they do not mistake him for one of the many necromancers no doubt present in the ruins. I wish for you to find Musianus and ensure his safe return to the Arcane University. I do not want anything to go wrong. Please, hurry. The battle mages will arrive there soon, if they have not already, and time is of the essence. If, for any reason, they are unsuccessful, Musianus' life will be in forfeit. You must make sure he is safe. Go now, and bring word to me as soon as he has been escorted to safety. All right, shit, man. Kind of amazing that he thinks that I'll do any better than the uh, battle mages at not killing him. I mean, <laughs> what if I think that he's a necromancer and kill him instead? All right, very well. Thank you. Know that I would not ask such a thing of you if I did not feel it was urgent, or that it was beyond your capabilities. I shall await your return. Hmm. All right. Oh, look, we can ask him about tasks again. Let's try. Nenyon Twill awaits you. Return Ninyan with Twill. Lucianus as quickly as possible, so I may settle the council's fears. Lucianus. All right. Very well. Make or haste. Lucianus. Oh man, everybody Nothing talking happened. left and right. All right, let's get on out there. Let's see. Which way do we want to go? Here Hello. we go. There we are. Yeah. Also, I was having some difficulty with these doors. Let's see if it's still. Oh no. Huh. It's only a night. Weird. Yeah, I was having some weird problems with these things activating or not. I don't know. It's Hello. Strange, strange stuff. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's head on out to Ninyan Twill. Oh, it's right there. Oh, man. We've actually come upon it before. 
Oh, and this is the White Rose River. I don't remember there being any White Roses out there, though. Alright. Yeah, have we been to the Fairgill Inn? Was that the one with the uh, potato lady? The lady who had, like, the giant potatoes or something? They stole my potatoes! Let's head on out there and look around for some necromantic bastards. Good god, I'm ready. I'm ready for him. Oh, gosh. Am I ready for him? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is this... This is it. Yeah, this is the place. Is there any uh, Oblivion Gates around here? Let's have a bit of a look around real quick. Just survey the area. No! Yeah, nothing coming up from our uh, fantastic reconnoitering endeavor. Oh, there is... What is that? Is that a bear? Ugh, fuck that thing. Here, I'm gonna pick these, though. Monk's Hood. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, when I, uh, when I was doing vendoring and all that in between videos, I also... Yeah, I may have picked a whole bunch of garbage at the Arcane University. There's a... There's a lot of it in the garden. Alright. Nyanyan Twill. Boom. Oh, shit. Is that one of the battle mages? Maybe that's him. Here, before we forget, let's mark that as done. Alright, and quick save as well, just to be safe. Is that him? You! <gasps> what are you doing here? Who is this? Fifth Regayer! Who are you? Fifth Rager, battle mage, sent by the council to find this traitor! You oh. must have told them we were coming. We've got to get our hands on him before he tells them anything else. Oh shit! Who the blazes are you, anyway? Oh, I'm also a traitor here to kill you, Fifth Grayer! No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I was sent here, too. Has the council gone mad, sending you here alone? No, I'm just Prisoner that badass. Gun. The others, they were waiting for us. They knew we were coming. Oh, no! I'm the only one left. The necromancers retreated further in, but we've got to follow them. There's no time to waste. Oh, shit. All right. Follow me. Oh, no! You should wait here, dude! You're gonna die! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, on the bright side, he won't be dead for long, right? <laughs> this is a bunch of necromancers in here. Jeez, dude, you're really going fast. Jeez! Oh, no! Oh, and it's going in slow! No! It went so slow, too, at the end! <laughs> oh, that was agonizing. All right. I'll need to continue on my own into the ruins to find Musianus. Holy fuck, it's still going! Ooh, God! Is it just stuck up there now? Oh, gosh. Something to do with the physics. Oh, man. <laughs> Faith Gear, no! Oh. Oh, God! Does it not stop? Is it because his body's there? Ooh, is it gonna get me? Oh! <laughs> oh, Faith Gear, hang on. Maybe we can get this. Oh, it's not gonna do it for the zombie. Oh, I see how it is. All right, fine. Look, here, we're gonna lure this zombo over here and get it crushed too. Look at this, this isn't a good sign. <laughs> Fuck, it's always something. And look, the particle effect there too ain't good looking good. Look at that. That seems real bad. Oh, this seems bad as hell. All right, Gordon, can you take care of this fucking dude? Look at that, yeah, the particle effects everywhere. Oh, jeez, something bad has happened. Look, is Gordon gonna be all sparkly as well? Look at Gordon's weird sparkles. All right, here, fine. Look at this. Oh, shit, you know what? This is gonna be problematic because I'm never gonna be able to tell when the effect is worn off. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh shit, my soul gem is already fully, uh, full. There we go. Man, I want to loot that man's body! <laughs> Maybe we'll never be able to. Oh shit, look at that! <laughs> what a fucking mess! What a damn mess! Alright, let's see, darkest darkness, we've read that before. Couple of torches. Alright, an alien cask. Maybe one of my bug-fixing mods is, like, out of date or something. I need to update it to be more compatible with the new drivers. All right, look. We're gonna try and loot this... Oh, fuck! <laughs> I want to loot him! What if he's got some important note on him? Oh, jeez! All right. Here. Ugh! Ugh! 
Anything on him? Wow, 286 Gs. All right, I'm taking it. Whoop, and away we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look, but the physics on his rag doll are perfectly fine. <laughs> Look at him go. Well, <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Oh shit, I almost thought he was about to get impaled on it. Oh man. Ooh, sorry dude. <laughs> was he not supposed to die? Oh man, could we have saved him? Oh hey, uh oh. Uh oh, it's gonna end here. Oh, there you go. And, uh, slay this dude. There we go, you like that? Oh, easy. All right, what has he got? Uh, clogs, some robes, a couple of potions. There we go, dire wound. He also had a nice looking weapon, yeah. What do you got there? A uh, Daedric mace, I'll take it. Necromancers are really big on the maces, huh? All right, let's do a quick save here. Look, see that door too. Something to do with the physics. Is my graphics card like dying? Oh man. Folks, general viewers, if you don't hear from me <laughs> ever again, it's my graphics card melted. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around here. Oh look, the misty fogs, they aren't working either. Oh, this is not good. This ain't a good thing. Oh geez. All right, let's see. Can we do anything to this person here? Take their hailstorm maybe. Oh, okay. Doink! There you go. Oh, and there. All right. Ooh! Oh shit! There was another one. Oh jeez. Oh, I don't want to fall down and bleed to death at all. Oh gosh, I can't charge my juicer up either. All right, we're gonna have to use a special one. All right, that's a grand soul. There we go. A greater one. There we go. Oh. Oh! There you go! Take that! Oh, we're just absorbing spells left and right. Alright. Uh, yeah, we can afford to juice up again. There we go. Mess him up, Gordon. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, awesome. Ah, oh, resist cold pants. That's the second time we found something like that. It's a sign. Alright. What do we have? Ice Storm, Legendary Magicka Drain, and a nice little Ebony Mace. Anything good in here? Interesting how the particle effects on my torch are okay, though. Huh. Oh, look, and now these ones... Oh, no, wait, they're kind of stuttering. Man, that's really weird. That's really disturbing. <laughs> I don't like that at all. All right, here, let's look on the uh, local map here. Yeah, there's no... Oh, wait, there is a hidden thing right there. Oh, shit, do you see that? Oh, man, we missed it in the big Super Smasher room. Hang on, let's go back and look at that little secret. What was that about? How do we miss that? Let's see, where is it? Is it up in this? This thing open up? Oh, it must open up. Oh, this must be like the way out. All right, is this just stuck up there forever now? I'm afraid to touch it. It might kill me like a, a car in Fallout 4. <laughs> God, what a terrible thing. You ever just walk up into a car in Fallout 4 and die instantly? Fuck me. Oh God, did you hear that? Oh my God. This thing is giving off some sort of terrible hum. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, let's continue in deeper. Let's see. Oh, great! Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking necromantic spells! Oh, man, that ain't good! Oh, that ain't good at all! Oh, shit! Wait, what's gonna happen? There's some guy after me! Alright, hang on. <laughs> I gotta find out what's gonna happen. What are they gonna do? Hey, what are you guys gonna do? You guys gonna do anything? No? Is it opening? No? Okay. Can I hit them? No. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, you know what? Hey. We're <laughs> this, this video might come out even later than expected. I'll be back and I'll try and figure out what the hell's going on with everything. Everything is extremely messed up and bad. I'll be back! Hey folks! Uh, we're back! I'm back! As you can see, I fixed it! Everything's looking good! Things in here are moving! Look at that! Oh, the particle effects are going great! Holy shit! Well, you know what? Probably saved it at a, at a really bad spot, but uh, we'll make do! Look at that! Oh, the particle effects are going perfectly fine. Animations, everything. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you a little bit about what the fuck was going on right after we clear out some of these bastards. There we go. Gordon, get on in there. 
Can we? No, yeah. I always try to paralyze these guys, and you definitely cannot. Huh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so, after about an hour of Googling and downloading bullshit, <laughs> I finally figured out how to fix the problem. Uh, let's get some repairs going here. Just, just as we had uh, been repairing stuff in real life, so too shall we repair stuff in Oblivion Land. Good God. So the problem is... Um, let's take a look here. Let's actually see. Um, that, do that doesn't tell me any... Oh, no, wait, yeah, it does tell me some stuff. All right, yeah. 150 right there. You see my playtime? 150 hours? Um, now this is usually... Uh, apparently it happens around 200 plus, but uh, for me, I guess I'm special. Uh, but, uh, so Oblivion has a problem, apparently, I found this out, a lot of people complain about, um, once your save file gets about to 200 hours plus, uh, you start to see, uh, that problem that I just encountered a lot. Now, I think the main issue is because I have that alternate character, maybe? The other character, um, that remember I, um, I showed way, way back when, um, that I'd played before, maybe that's it conflicting with it, or because I, uh, quick load a lot, or things like that. I'm also pretty bad about, um, keeping my game up and running, and then just loading, uh, an older save or something like that. I'm really bad about just leaving games running. <laughs> but, um, anyway, after about 200 hours, you start to see issues with, um, like, uh, animations on particle effects and stuff like that, um, things with doors... Things with, uh, like, like the big trap that we saw. All stuff like that. So the fix is to download uh, some sort of program uh, that someone has made. Thankfully, Oblivion's an old-ass game. So a lot of people have already run into problems and already had things figured out. So it's just a matter of figuring out what they figured out. So there were a lot of different things. One of the... The first thing I downloaded... Um, uh, it, was, it was the Oblivion Animation Fixer. Uh, I was about to go and have it run, and then Windows was like, hey, this might be malware. I was like, you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe I better not do this. And I just deleted that shit immediately. Because, uh, last time I did that, hey, I got a keylogger and wow, and that was, uh, years and years ago. But, um, <laughs> this one, maybe it was just because of the nature of how it alters files on your computer. I don't know. But I wasn't about to risk it. Especially since, uh, in the past, uh, there was that shit with how, um, Nexus mods and all that. They got hacked or whatever at some point. They had, like, vulnerabilities. So, anytime I see something like that, try to be a little bit careful. So, the other option was to download... Uh, there were actually quite a few. These were just the two that I went through. Um, was to get uh, Rybash? Is it either Wirebash or Rybash? I can't remember. But it's W... I think R-Y-E, I think, which would be Rye. Rybash for Oblivion, which I think is the original one. And get that uh, going up and going. But uh, that also had a problem because <laughs> you're not supposed to have that shit installed in your program files folder. But fortunately, I'm, I wasn't intending to use Rybash for like all of its other things with all of the like, uh, like bending the game engine to its limits and stuff. Just to fix this one issue. And then I uh, had to figure out how to use that. Get to the save menu, which wasn't actually all too bad. Uh, did the repair, which apparently was only about 43% um, full of corruption, full of bullshit or whatever. That would make uh, all that stuff messed up. Anyway, just did a quick click, fix the save file. We'll see if I have to do it every single save file or if it's just a, a ticking timer, a time bomb. We'll see how it works out. We may yet encounter this again, depending on how long this playthrough goes. Which, uh, you know, knowing me, hey... Probably gonna be a long one. Although Oblivion is, um, actually, uh, although it is fucking enormous, is the shortest of the three modern Elder Scrolls games, is it not? I mean, um, you would think that Morrowind is, given how, how, uh, there's no voice acting and all that, but, uh, given the fact that there is no voice acting, they just have a shitload of stuff crammed in there, huh? Alright. Let's take a look around here. Good god. <coughs> totally thrown me out of sorts. Oh, hey, who is this? That's a little scary. You just stood there. Hey! Oh, you poor dear. I'm afraid you're late to the party. The guest of honor has already left. Oh, shit. And I do hate to disappoint you, but Musianus is in no condition to be leaving. He's a worm thrall now, and she'll be quite content here. A grim fate indeed. But one does not cross the Order of the Black Worm without suffering greatly for it. 
Jeez. I shall tell the master that you were here looking for him. Perhaps I'll bring him your head as an offering. What? Oh, gosh. Jeez. All right. Oh, God. All right, fine. You know what, old lady? I ain't liking this. You know what? I'm gonna fuck you up in a major way. All right, do we have any juice in there that we need to juice up? Yeah, we do. All right. Let's get some juice going. Eh, I'll do a couple more swing swings. There we go. Oh, perfect timing. All right. Come on, Grandma. Your day's up. Boom. Oh, there we go. Careful, Gordon. Oh, there we go. Killing grandmas left and right. Look at that. Finally got blade skill level up. I think that's 91. Jeez, it's been a while since we uh, just manually got blade up. Let's see there. Yeah, 90. Oh, no, I'm dumb as hell. Yeah, our blade is actually 92. Oh, how do you know? How, how do you do? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, all right. Let's see. Gosh, I'm all in a fluster after all that business. All right, let's see. Who do we want? We want this dude in the back, don't we? Let's see. The guy without the shield. Let's see if we can't get a... There we go. Got it. Hey, not that bad. All right. Uh, I think we can just tank this. Yeah, just face tank it. Yeah, plow right through him. Look. Oh, my juicer is already full. All right. Fine. Wow, look at this. This place is huge. Oh, man. Look, they also got the zappers out there, too. Man, playing some tower defense, and I'm the I'm the random idiot walking through it. All right. Let's see if we can't take care of this scary-looking dude over here by fire. What do you got over here? You, what are you doing? What a weird guy. All right. You have anything good on you? Huh. I'll take that. <laughs> hey, let's just use it on him. Why not, right? Let's just use that uh, uh, potion, uh, poison of separation, right? What's it called? There, strong poison. Yeah, hurt his magica. There we go. I bet he won't like this. <laughs> Boom! Well, <laughs> take that, you dumb fuck! Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, what? What chump? All right, ebony mace. Yoink! Strong potion of sorcery. There we go. Ice blast. Immolating blast. I'll take him. What else we got in here? Paintbrush and a torch? Always good to have more torches, huh? Alright. Well, then again, we have like a hundred torches. Alright, we cannot rest up. We'll do a quick save here. Let's see. Take a look at the local map, see if we're missing out on anything. No? Alright. Just a humongous room. Let's see if we can't rest up over here, though. I'm a little worried. Oh, did the gate shut automatically behind us? Are we locked in here? No, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Do a quick save. And, you know what? Should we get some more poison going on? Maybe we should get some more poison going. Here, let's, uh, use a paralysis. There we go. <laughs> Probably, that is way overkill for just this one old man. Alright, what do you have on you? Anything good? Oh! He detected us! There we go! Ugh! I'll be the last thing you detect! Ugh! There we go! Get Gordon out! Ugh! Dodging his frosty balls! Oh, shit. Whoa, this dude is lunging all over the place. All right, there you go. Come on, Gordon. Mess him up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Bite his ass. Jeez, Gordon. Oh. Oh. Where are you at, Gordon? Oh, shit, that's Zombo. All right, just finish off this ghost. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's too many dudes! Oh! I'm also getting fucked up. I almost didn't even notice it. Jeez! Oh, finish him off, Gordon. Finish him off. All right, you know what? Fine. Emergency. Let's get, uh... Should we do some of these? Here, let's... Ooh! <laughs> Hit him with a flare. <laughs> there we go. Ooh! You like that? <laughs> Ooh! I'm not liking it, actually. All right, let's quick save here. And let's, uh, let's juice up our, uh, our sword. There we go. Common soul. Boom. All right, let's make sure we recharge that on him. All right. And... Oh! Come on, hit me. Oh! Oh, shit, it staggered me. Not good. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh! Good God, man. All right, fine. Fucking Zombo Lord! Oh God! You damn Zombo! Oh, there you go. All right. Do I need to juice up again? Yeah, I do. 
All right, let's stun him again. Number one stunner. There we go. Let's also throw that down. Ooh. There you go. And boom. Oh, awesome. Let's rest up. <laughs> Jeez. A little uh, out of practice, I guess, huh? All right, Mort Flesh. Let's see, what do we got on you? Bone Meal. Silver Claymore. Glass Longsword, we'll take that. Ectoplasm. Let's repair up a bit, huh? Yeah, look, our sword's all dinged up. There we go. Good stuff. All right, are there any other boogeymen out here? Dancing around? No, I don't think so. All right. And there may be some over there in the far area. Did we check all this stuff? No, not all of it, apparently. There we go. What do we have? Journeyman Alembic. I don't know if we have... Our alchemy equipment, our apparatuses, are not uh, fully kitted out. And we have a Master Alembic. Is there Grandmaster tier in this game? I don't know, but we have Apprentice... Uh, pretty much everything. It's just our Alembic that's good. Huh. Hey, hopefully we'll uncover some goodies throughout the Mage's Guild questline, huh? Seems like the kind of place you would uncover that sort of shit. Alright, glass mace, I'll take it. And what do you have? Yeah, that potion I tried to steal. All those things. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, should we check inside of those little things? Hmm. Inside the banks of water? Or pools of water? Looks like they might drain out. Oh shit, there's a necromantic lord over here. Alright, is it just the one? I think so. Alright. Here, let's get a, uh, there we go. Poison going. Why not? We need to be using them. Alright, and... Ugh, take it! There you go! No spells for you today! <laughs> Alright, what have you got? Oh, a Daedric Mace! Wow. Can we even carry that? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, sickness. Yeah, we'll take all these. There we go. Electrocution, Firestorm, all good stuff. Alright. There we go, let's poke around a little bit more. Ah, uh, these must open the, uh... Oh, never mind. How do we open those things? Oh shit, there's a Zombo inside. Alright. It's over around here. Anything good in this ancient reliquary? What do we got? Eh, just some garbage. And this chest of garbage. Alright, a big smash crate. That thing's ready to zap my ass apart. All right, let's just roll on over this direction. Let's see. Very checked her, right? Yep. Okay. Anything good in here? Uh, Nenyan Twill again. Is this the loop around? Let's check our map. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. It absolutely is. All right, that's the shortcut out. Should we go for a dive? Probably. Let's do it, man. Oh. Let's see. Oh, here we go. The secret stash. All right. Let's see, anything else good around here? It doesn't look that way, does it? No. Man, thank goodness our breath is just like forever. It's uh, It scales up with your endurance, right? I want to say I looked that up at some point during all this, but completely forgot. All right, let's dive down under in this one. Oh gosh, yeah, we're being shot at by those super zappers. Nothing else, it looks like. Eh, I don't see anything. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, yeah. Just those two switches. Good enough. What are these? Varla stones? Yeah, right on. Been a while since we got one of these. Right? Awesome. Alright, cool. Do a quick save, head on in here, after this damn zombo. Let's see, where is that dude? There he is. See if we can't get off one of those suckers. There we go, and... Oh! Oh shit! That's the guy! Look! Down there in the bottom right! It's Musianus! Oh shit! He turned into a Zombo! Man! Good god, they must have killed him and brought him back. You know, I figure when he was out here, I guess... He must have gotten a pension for the necromancy, right? He must have thought like, oh god, I can... Kill myself and bring myself back to life! Probably not that. No, probably not that. Oh jeez, our magic is like... Stunted or something, right? Look at that. Alright. Yeah, we aren't regenin'. What's up with that? Hmm. That's a little problematic. All right, here. Let's do some fortification and restoration. There we go. Good shit. There we are. 
Get Gordon back out. There he goes. Yeah, look, now our shit's regenning. Huh. Did I not even know that we actually had some sort of debuff to stunt our regen? Alright, there you go. Oh no, wait, we're regenning because I drank the potion like a dumb fuck. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, get him. Fuck him up, Gordon! Can we steal this guy's soul? Do you think because he's now a zombie, do you think I'll be able to get his soul inside of a Zero Stone? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna finish him off. Let's see what we get. Man, he's got a lot of health. Oh, there we go, yeah. Huh. Weird how that works. All right. I found Musianus Alias. He's been transformed into some kind of walking dead. <laughs> There's nothing I can do for him. I should report his fate to Hannibal Traven at the Arcane University. My god. Hey, you know what? We probably still could have, like, kited him out of here and escorted him back to town. <laughs> could you imagine that? Look at him and his sexy legs. Ugh. <laughs> Gnarly. Alright, what do we got in here? Weak potion of healing. Anything else good up here? Nope. Yeah, nothing much else. Yeah, they just threw him back here, huh? Man. Yeah, I guess he was lured in by the, uh, superb sort of... Seduction of necromancy, right? Jeez. I must have just thought like, oh my gosh, with necromancy, now I can just chop my own dick off left and right and grow it right back. Do you think that's how necromancy works? I don't know. That seems more like restoration to grow it back. I feel like necromancy, you chop your <laughs> you chop your own wing wang off, and then you use necromancy to bring it back to life while it's on the ground, right? Whereas with restoration, you do that, and then you just grow a new one back, right? <laughs> I feel like that's how that works. Oh, what? Let's get this over with. Oh, man. This guy wants to get some stuff going on. All right. Let's see. Should we fuck up his ghost friend? Nah, fuck You'll that. Let's fuck him up. Down. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's juice up. Man, what a pushover. <laughs> All right. What else do we have here? All these, yep, silence, and all that good stuff. Can we carry this? Yep. And we are definitely gonna do it. Look at Gordon turning green with envy. All right. That ah, big old stain of blood. Okay. Now look at this. This looks like a trap if I ever seen one, but uh, it's not. Looks like you step on it, like depresses into the floor, and I'll pop some scary dude. Oh look. Oh, there's an arm here. Hey, maybe this is Moosey, uh... Lucianus, Musianus's alias's. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> it's that guy's arm! <laughs> Alright. What do we got in here? A couple of torches. Eh. Alright. Creepy little den for necromancers to hang out and read books and stuff. Galarian the Mystic and Book of Daedra. The Secret Skull. Oh man, maybe that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to recreate their own. Uh, uh, emblem, their own tapestry, their own, um, what do you call it? Their own flag. <laughs> What's it called? Good God. Their sigil! Yeah, their sigil. Their necromantic sigil. They got the head, they got one arm. Ooh, they were just waiting for Moose, Moose, that guy to come back and chop off another arm. <laughs> alright. Let's see. Did we skip any other locales? No, alright. Looking good. Well, hey, that went pretty well, except for the guy who died back here. Oh, do you think he's still... Oh, man. Yeah, that's some shonky business, huh? Alright, sorry, pal. Man, look at him. He was all dressed out. Like crazy. He didn't. He doesn't even really look like any of the other battle mages, does he? Yeah, maybe he was some sort of, like, super battle mage. Oh, look, he's, like, doing a super cool dance. <laughs> look at that. He's like fucking John Travolta. Alright, let's see. Anything else here? Eh, yeah, yeah, we got everything good off of him, didn't we? All right, fine. Got a couple of Varla stones. Ain't half bad. All right, let's head on back to old Traven and tell him the terrible word. That guess what? He got turned into some kind of Walking Dead. God. <laughs> poor Traven. Good God. Or well, poor Traven. Or is Traven up to no fucking good? Who's to say? All right. Let's look around here. Anything else good? No. I mean, there are plenty of areas we could explore. 
but perhaps not now. Yeah. Can definitely come back, especially since we have this set up. More so looking out for uh, Oblivion Gates to spawn in and around. Alright, and we did mark that as done. Yep, yep, yep. And let's head on back to the Arcane University. And we'll take in some of the fine sights uh, on display there at the uh, main area, right? Oh, look at this. Look, all the beautiful lights and everything. They all work perfectly fine now. Oh, that is wonderful. Alright. Good stuff. At first I was wondering if that was if that had to do with it uh, being out of my field of view, but no. It's just some uh, weird bug. The A-bomb bug, Greetings, they call it. Magician. Not abomination, but uh, animation bomb. I don't know why it's called bomb, but eh, it is what it well is. Met, Interesting, though, because I think uh, Oblivion is the only game with that problem. I, I don't remember it happening in Morrowind or um, Fallout 3. Right? Or then again, maybe I played Fallout 3 with a mod that fixed it. Or New Vegas, of course. And of course, Skyrim, right? Alright, let's see. Let's go... Uh, five hours, right? He was out here at about 11 a.m., huh? Old Traven. Traven the Maven. Greetings, let's see. Oh, there they are. All, Hello, all right. Do they like... Uh, are they lovers well met, or something? Guildmate. Are they? Does she go up there with him? I don't know. What news of your task? Your face looks grim. Yeah, dude. There were there were necromancers all over the place. There was this dude who was like a battle mage, and he died. He got terribly mutilated and murdered right in front of me. Just continuously turned into, like, mashed potatoes. Here, let me tell you about Musianus. What? What? By the Nine. And there was nothing you could do for him? What no, he was a straight fate. zombo. I cannot imagine how they could do that to him. So many lives lost. I thank you for trying to save him. So many lives lost. It was just him. Huh. All right, here. Should we get another task? Yeah, why not? Before we continue, you should speak to Raminus Polus about your advancement within the guild. Oh, all right. I, I like the way you think, Hannibal Traven. All right, Bye. sure thing. All right, let's see. Let's go talk to Raminus. Maybe we'll get some fantastic Hello, new item. Hey. I hope I can help. I hope you can too. Here, I'd love some advancement. You are a magician no more. Guild members shall now address you as Warlock. Congratulations. Oh my god. Man, Warlock sounds kind of sinister though. We don't get anything cool? We don't get anything cool for this? Alright, here, tell me a rumor. The Major's Guild is made... <laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, tell me a task. Your tasks now come directly from Archmage right. Traven. Please speak with him if you're unsure what you should be doing. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Raminus. Goodbye. All righty. Well, when next we come back... Oh, look. Hang on. Can we... Did these repopulate or... What's going on? I'm just taking those. <laughs> well, when next we come back, Hello, we will head on upstairs, talk to... Uh, oh, to dear a God. Oh, oh, God. Used... All right. We will talk to Raminus... Uh, not Raminus, but Hannibal Traven. Get our next quest going. Oh, enjoy the special uh, A-bomb free world, or perhaps do another save and load that save and find out, oh my gosh, the curse carries with us. And we've been, uh, oh, what a terrible curse it is. But uh, for now, let's do a little bit of reading. Let's take a look here. Now, I actually did listen to myself read through uh, the, uh, the previous one just to get a brief refresher. Let's go here. Sun's height, 2920. Let's take a look here. I believe that's the one we need to read. Let me just double check my notebook. Uh, yes. Sun's Height, Book 7 of 2920. <clears throat> the Last Year of the First Era by Karlovac Townway. For Sun's Height, 2920, the Imperial City, Cyrodiil. The Emperor Raymond III and his potentate, Versidu Shai, took a stroll around the Imperial Gardens. Studded with statuary and fountains, the Northern Gardens fit the Emperor's mood, as well as the coolest acreage in the city during the heat of summer tide. Austere, tiered flower beds of blue, gray, and green towered all around them as they walked. Vivek has agreed to the Prince's terms for peace, said Raymond. My son will be returning in two weeks' time. 
This is excellent news, said the potentate carefully. I hope that Dunmer will honor the terms. We might have asked for more. The fortress at Black Gate, for example. But I suppose the prince knows what is reasonable. He would not cripple the empire just for peace. I've been thinking of Rija and what caused her to plot against my life, said the emperor, pausing to admire a statue of the slave queen Alicia before continuing. The only thing I can think of to account for it, it to account for it is that she admired my son too much. She may have loved me for my power and my personality, but he, after all, is young and handsome and will one day inherit my throne. She must have thought that if I were dead, she could have an emperor who had both youth and power. The prince was in on this plot, asked Versidu Shai. It was a difficult game to play, anticipating where the emperor's paranoia would strike next. Oh, I don't think so, said Raymond, smiling. No, my son loves me well. Are you aware that Korda Raj's sister, in an initiate of the Morhua Con Conservatorium in... Are you aware that Korda, Raja's sister, in an initiate of the Morwa Conserva Conservatorium in Higaith? What? What kind of a... What? Do I just not understand that? I feel like it's missing a verb there. All right. Ask, ask the potentate. Morwa? Is Morwa... Initiate of the Morwa? What? Uh, maybe I'm just dumb as hell. All right. Morwa? <laughs> asked the emperor. I've forgotten. Which god is that? Lusty, fertility goddess of the Yakudans, replied the potentate. But not too lusty, like Debella. Demure, but certainly sexual. <laughs> Jesus. I am through with lusty women. The empress. The empress, Rija, all too lusty. A lust for love leads to a lust for power. The emperor shrugged his shoulders. But a priestess in training with a certain healthy appetite sounds ideal. Now, what were you saying about the Black Gate? Six, Sun's Height, 2920, Thurzo Fortress, Cyrodiil. Rija stood quietly looking at the cold stone floor while the emperor spoke. He had never before seen her so pale and joyless. She might at least be pleased that she was being freed, being returned to her homeland. Why, if she left now, she could be in Hammerfell by the Merchant's Festival. Nothing, he said, seemed to register any reaction from her. A month and a half stay in Thurzo Fortress seemed to have killed her spirit. I was thinking, said the Emperor at last, of having your younger sister Corda up to the palace for a time. I think she would prefer it over the conservatorium in Higaith, don't you? Reaction at last. Rija looked at the emperor with animal hatred, flinging herself at him in a rage. Her fingernails had grown long since her imprisonment, and she raked them across his face, into his eyes. He howled with pain and his guards pulled her off, pummeling her with blows from the back of their swords until she was knocked unconscious. A healer was called at once, but the Emperor Raymond III had lost his right eye. Holy shit! Oh, man! Fucked up shit going on. All right. 23, Sun's Height, 2920. Balmora, Morrowind. Vivek pulled himself from the water, feeling the heat of the day washed from his skin, taking a towel from one of his servants. Sothasil watched his old friend from the balcony. It looks like you've picked up a few more scars since I last saw you, said the sorcerer. Azura granted that I have no more for a while, laughed Vivek. When did you arrive? A little over an hour ago, said Sothasil, walking down the stairs to the water's edge. I thought I was coming to a to end a war, but it seems you've done it without me. Yes, eighty years is long enough for, for ceaseless battle, replied Vivek, embracing Silzasil. 
we made concessions, but so did they. When the old emperor is dead, we may be entering a golden age. Prince Juliac is very wise for his age. Where is Almalexia? Collecting the Duke of Mournhold. They should be here tomorrow afternoon. The men were distracted at a sight from around the corner of the palace. A rider was approaching through the town, heading for the front steps. It was evident that the woman had been riding hard for some time. <laughs> Fuck. Unfortunate wording. <laughs> they met her in the study, where she burst in, breathing hard. We have been betrayed, she gasped. The Imperial Army has seized the Black Gate. 24, Sun's Height. 2920, Balmora, Morrowind. It was the first time in 17 years that the three members of the Morrowind Tribunal had met in the same place since Silthus Sil had left for Arteum. All three wished that the circumstances of their reunion were different. From what we've learned, while the prince was returning to Cyrodiil to the south, a second Imperial army came down from the north, said Vivek to his stony-faced compatriots. It is reasonable to assume Juliac didn't know about the attack, but neither would it be unreasonable to suppose that he planned on being a distraction while the Emperor launched the attack on Black Gate, said Sothasil. This must be considered a break of the truce. Where is the Duke of Mournhold? asked Vivek. I would hear his thoughts on the matter. He is meeting with the Night Mother in Telerun, said Almalexia quietly. I told him to wait until he had spoken with you, but he said that the matter had waited long enough. He would involve the Morag Tong in outside affairs. Vivek shook his head and looked to Sothasil. Please, do what you can. Assassination will only move us backwards. This matter must be settled with diplomacy or battle. 25, Sun's Height, 2920. Telerun, Morrowind. The Night Mother met Sothasil in her salon, lit only by the moon. She was cruelly beautiful dressed in a simple silk black robe, lounging across her divian, her divan. With a gesture, she dismissed her red-cloaked guards and offered the sorcerer some wine. "'You've only just missed your friend, the Duke,' she whispered. He was very unhappy, but I think we will solve his problem for him. "'Did he hire the Morag Tong to assassinate the Emperor?' asked Sothasil. You are straightforward, aren't you? That's good. I love plain-speaking men. It saves so much time. Of course, I cannot discuss with you what the Duke and I talked about. She smiled. It would be bad for business. What if I were to offer you an equal amount of gold for you not to assassinate the Emperor? The Morag Tong murders, murders for the for the glory of Mafala, and for profit," she said, speaking into her glass of wine. "We do not merely kill; that would be sacrilege. Once the Duke's gold has arrived in three days' time, we will do our end of the business. And I'm afraid we would not dream of entertaining a counter offer, though we are a business as well." As a religious order, we do not bow to supply and demand, so the sill. 27, Sun's Height, 2920, The Inner Sea, Morrowind. So the sill had been watching the waters for two days now, waiting for a particular vessel, and now he saw it. A heavy ship with the flag of Mornhold. The sorcerer took the air and intercepted it before it reached harbor. A call of flame erupted over his figure, disguising his voice and form into that of a Daedra. Abandon your ship, he bellowed, if you would not sink with it! In truth, Sothasil could have exploded the vessel with but a single ball of fire, but he chose to take his time, 
to give the crew a chance to dive off into the warm water. When he was certain there was no one living aboard, he focused his energy into a destructive wave that shook the air and water as it discharged. The ship and the Duke's payment to the Morag Tong sunk to the bottom of the inner sea. Now, is this something that a lot of people can do? Like, uh, do a Mission Impossible sort of uh, disguise yourself as someone else using illusion? Huh. Because that's not really something we've ever seen beyond, like, I guess, the... Uh, the Grey Fox Cal in-game, right? I mean, Jagger Tharn does it, doesn't he? Yeah, Jagger Tharn totally does it. Huh. Yeah, but no one no one actually in-game while you're playing seems to do it, do they? Yeah. Interesting stuff. Alright. Night Mother, thought Sothasil as he floated towards shore to uh, alert the harbor master that some sailors were in need of rescue. Everyone bows to supply and demand. Oh, shit! Damn! Alright, the year is continued in Last Seed. Yeah, holy shit, very... <laughs> very Lannister fucking... What the hell? Damn, dude, so the sill. Holy shit. Huh. Yeah, I, this book is like a surprisingly good way to learn about the character of so the sill. Because if I remember correctly, um, it's very limited what you do learn about him in Morrowind and in the Tribunal expansion, right? Alright. Well, when next we come back, we'll continue along with the Mage's Guild questline. I may go and uh, solve some stuff. Yeah, we got quite a few things. May head on over to the booty hole. And we'll meet up with Raminus again. Or not Raminus, but Draven. All that good stuff. And hopefully, uh, I'll have remembered to test again uh, whether or not these things have uh, worked out with the, the what do you call it, the A-bomb issue. Till next time. Peace. Peace.